Hey guys, this is a really fun week for us. Not only are we going to Disney this week, but we're getting to film our second video of the week. This is one that uh, we promised you guys a long time ago, but for whatever reason. Three months. Yeah, three Sorry, months Sorry, we're really bad at this. We're not good at saying, we're gonna do this. We're not good at keeping a schedule. We're just not scheduled people. Although I have like five planners that I write in all the time, but I write in them and then I never look at them again. <laughs> So this video we're doing is our pin haul from our last trip at Walt Disney World. We've had a lot of people ask us to, to do this haul and so we're finally, finally, finally getting around to it. We just want to go ahead and say right now that we're not actually pin traders. We're just going to be more like pin collectors I guess you would say. I don't want to buy something and spend my money on it and then give it to somebody else. <laughs> because if I buy it, I like it enough to keep it. I don't buy things unless it's a gift or something. I'm not going to buy something with the intention of like swapping it out. Unless it was, you know, just like those little packs. There's like, like three pins in here that we probably, if we did, we might keep with us in the parks. But the majority of these are ones that we love and we got them for a specific reason or because something we like or ride or a show we went to. But for the most part, we're not pin traders. We're just pin collectors. And we're totally new to this. Yeah, we're We tired. just started. We bought our first pin, actually not at Disney World. We'll get into that. But when we were at Disney, we went bonkers. Yeah, we went a little crazy last time. We bought so many pins. We didn't, we had no interest in it on our first trip. Didn't buy one, didn't look at them. But our last trip, I was, was like, oh, I need that one. Oh, I need that one. Once, oh, I can't get that one unless I get that one. It was like once we bought our first like couple, it was it just like started this crazy, crazy spree after that until we finally left. But we're pretty excited about showing you guys the ones that we got. Um, we'll probably pick up a few on this next trip. Not near as many as last okay. time. So we have <laughs> we have two bags of pins. Tell me how ridiculous that is. And they've been sitting in these bags since we got back in December. December. Yep. And we've actually, okay, we filmed this video before. Amateurs. We filmed this video before and we were out of like the screen for like 100% of it. It was pretty tragic. <laughs> pretty tragic. Oh well, it was good practice. <laughs> and it was like really late at night, we were tired, so it yeah. probably wouldn't have been our, our best video anyway. Okay, so our first pin we bought, we actually didn't get at Disney World. Like we said, we got it at an antique shop here in the town that we live. We were just, we like to go in and look for old furniture, try to redo it and things like that. And we like knickknacks that are old that we haven't seen since we were a kid. And Jared actually saw this hanging on a wall and now it's hanging on our wall. Can we get him down so everybody can Getting see? Getting down so everybody can see. Okay, so this is our pin. Jared found this in the antique shop. We don't really know much about it. It was a pin for Philhar Magic when it first opened up. That's what it was. I was forgetting. I was trying to think of it whenever. And it was like, they only made so many of these. And like the way that you got it from what we understood from researching it more was you had to like book a certain package deal mm -hmm. like ahead of time. I believe for the fall around when it was opening. And if you book this special package, then you got like a voucher, I think, to go and pick one of these up at the park. That's how it worked. And it's like a frame and it has, um, it's like got, it's like a total picture frame. And it has a certificate of authentic, I can never say this word. Authenticity. Auth <laughs> I always want to say authentication. Is that a word? Yes. Authentication? So what's the difference in authentication and authenticity? Authenticity. authenticity. <laughs> You're Nobody makes fun of me. <laughs> I have trouble with words sometimes. Okay, so this is the certificate of fill in the blank. It says that artist proofs are 20. So I don't know if this is number 20 or only 20 were printed, but we've got this and it's in the back of it. It's just Donald and Fan. With the sorcerer's hat on. Yep, it's like in Fantasia. And then it has this little Mickey pin down here. This was our first pin that we got before we ever even bought a pin from the park. So that might have started it. I think it did. So pretty cool story on how we got that guy. Okay, so into the bag. Yeah! <laughs> You'll have this bag. I don't know what's in it. And then here's my bag. I got the cool one. 
<laughs> Off of the pen. <laughs> I think the ones in this bag were some of like the limited edition pins that we got. So yeah. first one, this guy here, which is the 25th anniversary for Star Tours. Um, I got it just because I really like Star Tours and the fact that it was like the 25th anniversary, I guess, also made it a little more cool. But it opens up. Other than that, I don't really know much more about it. And Star Wars was Jared's first ride. It was. It already? Oh, yeah, I forgot. It was yeah. your first ride at Disney World, period. So that's, so that's yep. kind of a special thing for him. He likes it, but it's also his first ride, so that's part of why he loves Star Tours so much. My first pin is, we never look in these bags, so I totally forgot what's in here. So it's like, I don't know, a surprise every time. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's the Lady in the Tramp pin. So this is the Lady in the Tramp pin, and I am a huge, huge fan of Lady in the Tramp. Love it. We are big dog people, and um, I love Cocker Spaniels, and Oakley kind of looks like a little bitty <laughs> tramp. They kind of so, do. And I, that's been one of my favorite Disney movies ever since I was little, and so as soon as I saw this, I was like, I have to have that pin. As well as like the next 50. What do you do? All right, my next pin is, oh cool. You got that one? That's my pin. So this was a pin we got at the Grand Floridian, which was limited edition for uh, during Christmas. We love this. We got it tonight. We went to the very merry Christmas party. We went to the Grand Floridian. Was it after or before? I guess it was after. We went after. Yeah. And we just happened to go see the big gingerbread house, and they were selling this inside the gingerbread house. That I'm was so it. excited. I was especially <laughs> excited that they hadn't like sold out of them yet. Yeah. I don't even know. Let's see. I've never taken any of these off the back, so I don't know. Um, this is limited edition of 3,000. So there's about 3,000 people that come in and out <laughs> of the Grand Floridian. So for me to have one of these, I'm pretty excited about. Because I love Alice in Wonderland. and We didn't even go there I expecting to get, to get a pen. We just happened to see it inside the... I know, I was, just wanting to, I was just wanting to go and see the house. If you watched our Disney vlogs from December, you will have gotten to see it. And that little girl almost knocked her thing out. <laughs> she, she was causing all kinds of mischief. <laughs> she was giving me anxiety. <laughs> okay, so my next pin that's coming out of my bag, before I show it to you, I feel like everybody has this pin, but keep in mind that we did not buy these because they were limited edition or they were special or they were, you know, whatever. We bought them because we liked them, even if Everybody that's ever been to Walt Disney World has this pin. We like it. We got it anyway. This pin is a Mickey pin and the doors open on it. And the thing that I like most about it is it actually has Walt Disney in it and himself. And I love Disney so much because it all boils down to Walt Disney. Because he is just, I don't, I just love him as a person. I think that he is such an amazing person with a spirit of like I have of myself. Just a kid at heart who sees so much happiness in the world. He tries to look past all the negativity and stuff and he focused on making a place that was happy. And um, and just his imagination and he didn't care. He just did what he wanted. To, you know, like I just, yeah. I, I love, I love Walt Disney. And it, it opens up, the doors open up, but it's got Walt Disney himself. It's got old black and white classic Mickey. And it's got Steamboat Willie, and it has all that's black and white except Mickey Mouse in the center. And it is, um, it's colored, and it has his signature in it. And I just love it. And on the front of it, it says, it all started with a mouse. And I think this is probably my favorite pen that I've gotten, or probably ever will get, because I just love the meaning behind this pen. There's so many qualities about it that I love. That was the third one. Oh, yeah. You're getting all the ones that are good. Oh, you have the good bag, I forgot. Yeah. It is this guy. This is the uh, 20th anniversary of Lion King pin. Jared's favorite movie. Yeah. That's obvious Are now. you probably accepting, are you accepting it now? Okay. <laughs> it, I'm never gonna let that go. <laughs> so, yeah. apparently th there are two different versions of this pin from what I've seen. Um, this one is like it has the 20th anniversary and Lion King written in blue, but there's also one that was in red apparently, but since Lion King was my favorite growing up and it's always been my favorite, it's 
hard for me to pass this one up. I really like that band too. I was pretty excited when I saw this one that day. Lion King was the first movie I remember seeing in theaters. That was a Disney movie. My next pick is... <laughs> it's Ariel! Yeah! I love Ariel. If you can't tell. It's hard for me to pick a favorite princess, but for some reason it always goes back to Ariel. Yep. I don't know that I could just say that she's my favorite, but she is definitely one of like my top three favorite ones. Um, I think I think deep down she's your favorite. Well, there's not really like I like people based on like what they stand for. Like I love Tiana because of like her work ethic. Yeah. I love Cinderella because she has the ability to see past people's mistakes and stuff and still love who they are. You know, like people, even if they're the meanest in the world to her, she's always going to forgive. You know, like this. And Ariel just wants to love. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I mean, I guess I like that too, but there's not, I just really like Ariel because I just love the movie, I guess. This pin is just a pin with Ariel and it's got Sebastian and it's got Flounder and I don't remember a turtle in Ariel, but it's got a turtle on it. It just says Magic Kingdom Under the Sea Journey of the Little Mermaid, which is the Little Mermaid ride that I like. I hate the voyage of Little Mermaid <laughs> at Hollywood Studios. They're in the process of getting rid of stuff that needs to be like bumped up on the list because that is just, it's terrible to me. I'm sorry if that you like it, but it's just not my cup of tea. I love Little Mermaid. I was so stoked to watch that for the first time and I was angry when I left. I was like, what is that? Can I just be on stage and be Ariel? I could do a better job than she did. It was like, it was funny for me just to see your reaction watching it. I was more, angry. More than it was me watching it. I'm never really angry at Disney, but I was, I was like, what is this? What am I watching? <laughs> but this is a ride that I do like. This is the one that um, I just unleash and sing and dance in the little clamshell. Mm, can't help it. I get so excited. But this is that pin, and I love Little Mermaid, so that's why I went ahead and picked this one up. Jared's next pin is. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> So this was another pin that we got that was limited edition for like the holiday season last year. We actually got this one at our uh, resort, which I think I think they had different ones for different resorts that were there. This is the Caribbean was, Beach Resort 2014. I really like the fact that it had Pluto inside of it because Pluto is one of my favorite characters. And he's just kind of relaxing, taking it all in. <laughs> That's a really good one. I like that one. We try to get a pin for every resort that we stay at. We just started that with this resort. So this is our only resort pin yeah. and um, every time we go now, we actually, every time we go to Disney World, we stay at a new resort. And so we've stayed at two and we're staying at a new third one this time when we go Saturday. And we need to go back to Fort Nauta and get a pin there. Yeah, so that was my did. favorite. And so we're gonna try to collect a pin at every resort we go to. This is our first one. Numero uno. And we went in December, so that was pretty cool that it was like a snowflake. Yeah, what's your fourth pin? It is Rocket <laughs> Roller Coaster. It's my favorite ride, lots of people know that, but I, woo! Ah! It rocket roller coaster down to the ground. And it actually has like this little, the little car, and it like slides up and down on the guitar. So it's like a guitar and it's got the little, car thing on the string. It doesn't slide very easy though. But uh, it's my favorite ride and I don't have any, I didn't have any ride pins by the time I got into this one. So I was like, okay, well I'll just get one. And so I got a pin for my favorite ride and we all know Jared got what he got. When I say Jared got one for his favorite ride, Everybody should know wonder it. what he got. So this was one that was a limited edition and you could only get if you went to the Very Merry Christmas Party, which we did. We actually went over there pretty what we thought was pretty early to try to yeah. get one of these. Wow. And like that was probably like a, maybe an hour, 45 minutes after it started. I would say like 30. Yeah, I, I think like... about, about 45, it's okay. somewhere in there. And by the time we got over there, like they were pretty much already sold out of that all the That was like bare, I mean, I mean like it was like singles just like hanging there. And so they had this one and they had one, one other one, one mother one. I, I think they ended one up having other one. three. And they only had two of them left when we I were I didn't know there. how many they had originally, yeah. but I know the wall is like bare. And they had <laughs> two different ones left. So Jared got one for him and I got one for me. So this one was Goofy and Max. Uh, it's just kind of a picture of them out in the snow together. 
and I like Goofy too. So. I like Max. <laughs> so my next pin is Hoop Dee Doo! <laughs> Hoop Dee Doo is one of our favorite shows, so of course we had to get a pin. Straw, straw, strawberry. Strawberry short. Strawberry shortcake! <laughs> oh, this is our Hoop Dee Doo pin, and I mean, it's just pretty much self explanatory. We love Hoop Dee Doo, it's my favorite show, and I think it's Jared's favorite dinner show, and one of his Absolutely. top favorite ones. We love so Hoop Dee so we made sure that we got a pin because it was one of our favorite Disney memories was the Hoop Dee Doo. And that's how we try to do our pins is we do things that are special to us, like things that remind us of stuff or things yeah. that we love, you know, or things that like tie us back to memories. This is one of those things and we love it. And this is a really heavy pin and so I like it. I'm really, really happy that I got this Hoochie Doo pin. Next. So this is the other uh, pin that we got the night of the Very Merry Christmas Party. This, this one's mine. This one was Brit, the one she picked out. You couldn't tell. It's, <laughs> since it's purple, then it has Snow White and Dopey inside of it when you open it up. And these were shaped like an ornament, which kind of made it more, I guess, Christmas City holiday-ish. So that was kind of neat too. <laughs> I love this one. I love Snow White. It was my very first Disney movie to see. So it just seems so special. Okay, so... My bag's almost bare. I've got like six more, which is probably not fair. But... I think I've got that many left too. Okay, so just to get this big thing out of the way, we did buy this big, um, just like four pin set. And the reason we bought this was because we wanted to buy things that still had the hat on them for Hollywood Studios. And so any pin that we saw that had the hat on it, we went ahead and we picked it up. So that's why we got this set. But it has Hollywood Studios, Magic Kingdom, Epcot, and Animal Kingdom, of course. So we basically bought the set for one pin. But I mean, I really like having park pins. I think yeah. it was cool. We didn't, we hadn't picked up any of those when we got this. So now we have a pin for each park. And you know, someday somebody might really want this pin because it has the hat on it for Hollywood Studios when it was their symbol. Next one I got was this, which I was pretty excited about because it was Genie and Aladdin. And this came in a pack. I don't remember if it was like a multi, yeah. Got it. <laughs> Get out of there. And so Aladdin was probably my second favorite movie growing up. <laughs> Again. Genie was it. like always one of my favorite overall characters, like period, about of all Disney characters, especially when I was little. So this one was kind of special to me that we got it in this pack, and I was pretty excited about it. So all the ones that you can get in this pack were Lulu and Stitch, Monsters, Inc., Toy Story, Lion King, Bambi, Ariel, Jungle Book, Fox and the Hound, Huey, Dewey, and Louie, Pinocchio, Pooh and Piglet, um, Aladdin. Aladdin, which is the one you got, um, Mickey and Pluto, Oliver and Company, Milan, and um, Nightmare Before Christmas. So those are, the, those are the ones, the 16 that you can get out of this, and this is, we got, I guess you get how many? that you get five in this pack. So the next thing that I got was, dun, dun, dun. I got all the hats though. I got another Hollywood Studios one that has the Tower of Terror, Rock and Roller Coaster, and the hat. Three of my favorite things <laughs> that has to do with Hollywood Studios. We know a lot of people don't like the hat. I really, I, I've seen videos and vlogs of it, the Hollywood Studios without the hat up. And I, I mean, I like it, I like it both ways, but for me, uh, that's as far back as I can remember was Hollywood Studios having the hat. And so for something that I'm really used to, to change, I don't do change very well. So when they took it down, I have separation problems. I hate to tell things goodbye. Um, for sure. But for the hat, I was kind of the same way just because like, I grew up loving Fantasia and, my, and Sorcerer Mickey's always been a really one of my favorite characters. And so the hat to me, you know, when I thought of Hollywood Studios before I even went there, that's what I thought about was Hollywood Studios and the hat and so. We went ahead and picked up this pen because again, it had the hat in it, but it also, we got it because it's got, you know, our our two favorite rides at Hollywood Studios, which is Tower of Terror and Rock and Roller Coaster. I'm just gonna go ahead and get this one out of the way too because it's another one that we got because it had the hat on it. We got three things that had the hat on, but I really love this pen. In our Disney vlog, when we are, I guess in, Somewhere in Hollywood shows, and me and Jerry were looking at pins, and he was like, ooh, I like this one. This is the one that we yeah. ended up getting. 
and it I love clear glass like colored glass does anybody know what I'm talking about like I love stained glass it's something that I think is just beautiful and it just really like attracts me and draws my attention so I got this because it had the hat on it but also because it has like the stained glass in the background and it's got Magic Kingdom Epcot Hollywood Shoes, Tree of Life, the regular four parts, and it's got a Mickey head in the middle, and it just says Walt Disney World at the bottom, and I just love it because it's got the colored stained glass behind each part, and I just love that. I just love stained glass. Is that weird? Yeah, I like stained glass. I love it. I love it. And so I just think this pin is beautiful. Not only does it have the hat on it, but because it's got Cinderella's castle on top of everything, I love that. My next pin is this one with Milan and Mushu. <laughs> this was another one that came in that pack where we got, you know, four other ones. So this was the second one out of that. This is one that we may or may not trade. Yeah. I, there's not a ton of Milan stuff, so we might not trade this. But, I mean, I like Milan, but I just don't feel the need to collect <laughs> Milan things. For some reason, I'm just not, I'm just not, um, I didn't love the movie enough to want to collect the things. Although, the scariest villain on the face of the planet is the bad guy in the line. I don't even know his name, don't want to know his name, don't like him, terrifies me every time I see him on the screen. That's how you feel. <laughs> so, my next pin was one that I think a lot of people actually do have. Again, we bought it because we love it. And it's just Minnie and Mickey, and it's got all four parks. Okay, I'm just kidding. It has another hat on it, but... We just got it because we we love we love this one, but it's got all four parts on it, and they're holding hands and they're spinning in circles. And me and Jared do that a lot, and so we got this one because I love this one. It's like, hmm, which where should we go today? Yeah, that's a good way. <laughs> Wherever Mickey lands on today is what park we're gonna go to. We're going to Animal Kingdom. How fitting. That's Jared. <laughs> If he didn't have to say Magic Kingdom, it would be Animal Kingdom. Yep. Where will Minnie go to today? Epcot, which is my second favorite park. Wow, that was pretty good, huh? Pretty accurate. Good job, Mickey and Minnie. So the next three, I'm just going to go ahead and talk about all these at the same time because it's just the remaining three from the pack of like, mystery pins that we got. First up, which was Brett's favorite. <laughs> it's Boo Bear! Boo Bear, Piglet. I guess I'll let you express your excitement about this. I don't think I need to. I think everybody knows. <laughs> I love Winnie the Pooh. So she was pretty pumped that this was a mystery pack. Definitely. I love the pooh. The next one was uh, the one from Oliver and Company, which we're just kind of like, eh, about. Yeah, we'll probably trade that. I don't even, I've seen that movie when I was little, but yeah. I don't remember it. Have you ever seen it? Uh, yeah, same way I saw it when I was young, but it's not one that really stuck with me. So. Yeah, so I think we're going to go ahead and put this one on our lanyard. Maybe the Milan went on our lanyard um, because these are some that we don't really, we didn't buy these. They were just in the mystery pack and so we don't have ties to them. Not, it wouldn't hurt our feelings to get rid of these. I could care less if we keep this one, but Jared might want to keep it. It's all the kids uh, from A Nightmare Before Christmas. I mean, like, I like watching it whenever, like, it comes on TV, but it's not like my I don't, favorite movie. I don't like the kids. They're kind of <laughs> creepy. If it had, like, Jack Skellington on it or Sally, like, I yeah. would keep that. But I don't really like the kids. They are actually kind of creepy. I don't really care for the kids either. So. Or if it had zero on it. I would love it if it had zero <laughs> on it. Okay, so my last two, I've got two left. But one of my last ones is Minnie and Mickey, and this was one that we actually picked up not on our Disney moon because um, I think they were sold out of them and we really wanted one. And so we just went ahead and picked one up when we went back in December. But it's just Minnie and Mickey, and they are under an arch, and she's in her wedding dress, and he is in his tux, and they're getting married. And I just love this pin. I think it's so beautiful and so precious. It's such a classy looking pin. Yeah, it is. I really like just the pastels of it. I just love it. Looks it looks like it would have come from the Grand Floridian. Yeah, I really like this pin. So we went ahead and picked it up, even though it was, you know, six months after we got married. But good intentions. We would have gotten it in the beginning, but they just didn't have it. All right, the next two, 
I'm gonna talk about are two that we got in like separate uh, mystery packs. Like it was just a pack with just one pin in each one. And so we had absolutely no idea what we were getting. And I don't even remember we got that. I know that we got one of them in Holly, Stu Holly, Holly Studios. <laughs> Hollywood Studio. I wanna say the other one was in Magic Kingdom somewhere tonight. It was a very, Possibly. very, very Probably. Probably. Probably at the Emporium. Probably. So the first one was this of Goofy boxing. I like it just because it, it looks kind of retro in a way. Um, I thought it was kind of neat. Brittany didn't really care for it. I but. like this pin. <laughs> I think it's weird. But this is a collector's pin. It's it not is. a collector's pin. It's like a set yeah. pin. There's a bunch of sets. It's like Goofy playing all different kinds of sports. We've done a little bit of research on these pins. We don't know much about them, but we do know that this is like, there's a whole set of these. And this is, um, it's it's in the hidden it's a hidden Mickey collection and this is the completer pin. So I guess that means that this is the last the last one. This is the one you get to complete this the collection. I don't know, we really don't know anything about. Like we said, we're pin noobs and just get started on this. So we say really <laughs> stupid things that are wrong, please don't but don't judge us on our pin yeah. knowledge at this point. And then the second one, uh, in another pack we got was this of the Siamese cats from Lady and the Tramp. We are Siamese, That song gives me <laughs> Britt hates that part. I don't like these cats. I hate these them. cats. I'm sorry, I don't need to say hate. I dislike these cats very, very strongly. They creep me out, they're mean, they're ugly. If you have Siamese cats, I am very sorry. They're probably not as To mean each as their own, anyways. but I don't like Siamese cats. I like fluffy, happy, cuddly cats that don't look like they could rip your face off. I think you just don't like them because you know that they're mean to lady. That's probably why. I think I'm just, it's just a bad impression. The first Siamese cats I ever saw was on Lady in the Tramp, and they are evil. And so, you know, your first impression pretty much sticks with you. So, yeah, I just don't like them because of that movie. I'm sorry if you have time to cats. <laughs> I'm sure cats are lovely and they're very sweet and they don't look like they're gonna kill you. But, and they're probably not mean to your Cocker Spaniel either. These cats are awful. <laughs> so we're down to our last two pins. Finally, sorry, this is a really long call. <laughs> but, um, told you we had a lot. Um, my last pin to say the best for last is a poo bear! I got a poo pin! And it just says, Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, which is one of my very favorite movies. I went and saw Winnie the Pooh on, I think my 20th birthday with my mom. <laughs> she took me to the theater just to see Happy it. birthday for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ashamed. I love Winnie the Pooh, and I don't care who knows it. I love Pooh Bear. And it says, The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, and it's just got, um, it's got Eeyore, Pooh, Piglet, and Tigger. And, well, that's bigger said. He's upside down. <laughs> and um, it's got little bees at the bottom. And we found this in the Grand Floridian at one of the like little gift shops. The one that has snacks and stuff in it. Um, and I was so excited because this is my favorite Winnie the Pooh pin that I have found. Because sometimes they just kind of look tacky. And I like this one. This is the prettiest one. So I'm really excited that I found this. And this is definitely one of my very favorite pins. All right, our last pin. This is one of my favorites because it was for my favorite ride. Can anybody guess what it is? What, Brittany? It's a small world. Is that your final answer? No, Expedition Everest! So, there are, there are actually like a lot of different Expedition Everest pins at the park, and I don't know how many of them I looked through before through I- a lot. Because I only wanted to get one and I think this one, um, this is one of the last ones I actually saw, so. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm glad I waited on it because I really like this one a lot. But obviously I got it because it's my favorite ride. So the last thing we have isn't a pin, but it's actually the first and only uh, lanyard that we bought for our pins. And so we'll be taking it with us on our next trip. I, I love this lanyard. I love it because it's got all the colors yeah. and it's so cute. It is black and so like I can wear it or Jared yeah. can wear it. It's kind of like a unisex lanyard and it's super soft, I love it, and I kinda don't wanna put the pins in it because I don't wanna poke holes all in it. So, I don't know, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do it because we might get a second lanyard this next time um, because they have so many pins. 
and I think we're not gonna put all of our pins on a lanyard. I think we're gonna get a cork for it and stick them in, but we are excited about this lanyard, and I can't wait to put the ones that we don't really like on it and bring them and wear them to Disney World. So we had a lot of fun making this video. We hope that y'all liked our pin haul. I know we promised this to you for so long, so we're happy that we are finally, finally, finally able to do it. Sorry, it took so long. <laughs> we wanted to go ahead and get it done before we went on our next trip. That way we wouldn't have like two trips piled because this is way too many pins at one time. So we didn't want to have these pins plus once we get in our trip this next week. And we're just so excited to get it done and show them all to you because I'm sorry it just took forever, <laughs> but we're, we're happy now we can take them off of the cardboard and or this isn't cardboard but like the paper and stick them on a cardboard and look at them and see them and we didn't tell you what the prices were because the majority of them don't have prices on them most of them have um the color on the back like this one's silver and this one's silver a couple of them are blue this one's pink we have blue red so like those are things we don't really know the prices of so we just decided not to on them they're they're all let me find one with the price like this one's like $14.95. So they're all kind of not far from that. They're a little lower than that, a little bit higher than that, but much, not by much. So that's just a general idea of what a pin costs. This one was a limited edition pin, so they're not all gonna be that expensive. We hope you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And come back next week. We are gonna be at Disney World, but I have already, I said I don't pre-film videos, but we went ahead and just did one. I went ahead and did one. So we wouldn't have to skip a week while we were at Disney World and it is a makeup haul in the hall theme. I did a makeup haul to get ready for Walt Disney World. I wanted to buy a bunch of makeup, test it out and see how it would do for the humidity and in being in Florida. A lot of people have asked me what kind of makeup I wear and um, I wanted to actually specifically go in and get stuff to see how it would work and how it would wear. And so I'll show you all the stuff that I got for Disney World. And eventually I'll do a what's in my makeup bag for Disney, um, but that I don't have that filmed or anything like that. So watch out next week for that. And we're gonna be at Disney World. Make sure you're following us on Twitter and on Periscope because yeah. you can laugh, you can tweet us and we'll get right back to you on Twitter. We're so excited about being able to Periscope. Yeah, we just gonna have to remember. <laughs> we're gonna have our vlog camera out, yeah. but then one of us is gonna have to remember to Periscope. We've never done that before, so it'll be yeah, something I think it's new to us. Sorry, it's terrible when we drop <laughs> our phone, do crazy stuff. But we are gonna try a Periscope. Um, it's just Disney at heart um, on on Periscope. So be looking out for that, and um, be sure to follow us on our Disney adventure this next week. We're so excited. For all y'all that wanted us to do this pin haul, hopefully we didn't disappoint you. Hopefully you liked it. <laughs> but we were really excited about getting to do it. And we're so excited about leaving for Disney in just a couple days. Yep. And we'll have a packing video up too. Don't hold me to a date on this. <laughs> I'm just announcing that we will film a packing video. And we'll get that up. Um, and if I seem a little grumpier in this video, I'm sorry. I get really stressed out before we, even if we're going to Disney, I get really stressed whenever I pack. So you can probably see my extreme organization when it comes to packing because I have to make sure I have everything, everything's organized, everything's in its own bag, like all of these things. So I'm just, I'm getting, I'm feeling the pressure. Three more sleeps and we'll be at Disney! so ready so thanks guys for watching our pin haul i hope you enjoyed it and be sure to come back next week send us a tweet so we can talk to you and we'll see you real soon bye, bye. we're going to disney we're going to disney we're going to disney <laughs>